Welcome to the Hayward TriStar VS Variable Speed Pump Training Video. This video will cover installation and startup. It is provided for you to better understand our products and how they operate. We will be covering both the TriStar VS with Pump User Interface, model number SP3200 VSP, and the SP3200 VSP ND model without a user interface, controllable with a Hayward automation system. TriStar VS should only be installed and serviced by authorized personnel qualified in pool spa equipment installation. Before beginning installation, make sure to read the TriStar VS owner's manual included with the pump carefully and completely. This video is designed to serve as a quick overview and does not replace or supersede the detailed installation or operation requirements set forth in the product's owner's manual. For a free copy of the manual, please visit Hayward.com. As stated before, we will be covering both the TriStar VS with pump user interface and the model without user interface. To help you select the right TriStar VS model for your pool, we are going to explain the differences. The TriStar VS model, SP3200 VSP, comes with a pump user interface on top of the motor, which like the Hayward EcoStar pump, can be positioned four different ways. The user interface can also be installed remotely via a communication cable and mounting hardware. We will discuss user interface positions along with remote user interface installation later in this video. The SP3200 VSP can operate as a standalone model or be connected to control systems via relays or valve actuator ports. It cannot be wired to a Hayward Gold Line software compatible control via a data wire. We will cover both later in this video. The SP3200 VSP ND has no user interface, therefore it cannot be operated standalone. It must be connected to a Hayward Gold Line controller via a data cable. Most Hayward automation systems can be used to control the SP3200 VSP ND. Check your owner's manual to verify software compatibility. Hayward's TriStar VS Variable Speed Pump gives you the ability to reduce the energy consumption of your equipment pad. The pump also allows you to tune in the exact speed and flow needed to power an automatic pool cleaner, water feature, or anything needing a specific flow on your pool and spa. As you can see from the pump affinity law, running the pump at half the speed cuts the cost to operate the pump substantially. Toward the end of this video, we will review Hayward's Energy Solutions Calculator and App. Like Hayward's EcoStar, TriStar VS comes equipped with 2 by 2 and a half inch union connectors. For new pool construction, we recommend 2 and a half inch plumbing, which requires a bushing to connect. If upgrading or replacing an existing pump to an existing pool, please use the pipe sizing chart shown to determine maximum flow rate for the pipe being used. You can use the performance data chart to determine your maximum speed settings. Both charts are available in the owner's manual or on our website at www. Hayward.com. Two inch plumbing is attached directly to the pump. As shown, inch and a half plumbing needs a bushing to complete the connection. It is recommended that one and a half inch plumbing be upgraded to at least two inch where possible. Inch and a half plumbing will restrict the TriStor VS flow performance. Please use the appropriate PVC glue and primer to make your connections. Note that in some low flow applications, the water may not completely fill the pump basket. It is only important that the water level be above the opening going into the impeller. TriStar VS should only be installed and serviced by a qualified professional. Make sure to shut off power to the pump before making any electrical connections. All electrical wiring must conform to local codes, regulations, and the National Electric Code, NEC. Hazardous voltage can shock, burn, and cause death or serious property damage. To reduce the risk of electric shock, do not use an extension cord to connect unit to electric supply. To access the TriStar VS SP3200 VSP interface model drive wiring compartment, remove the two screws securing the interface to the back of the pump. Disconnect the short cable that extends out from the motor drive to the interface. Loosen the three screws securing the interface mounting plate to the motor drive and remove the interface mounting plate to gain access to the drive wiring compartment. Disconnect the short cable on the interface mounting plate from the RS485 terminal block on the drive PCB and set aside. 
For the TriStar VS SP3200 VSP ND no user interface model, there is one screw at the rear of the drive that needs to be removed to access the drive wiring compartment. After accessing the drive wiring compartment, you will notice two white wires connected to L1 and L2. These are test leads and must be removed and discarded. Do not use these leads to wire the pump. The TriStar VSP can only be connected to 230 volts AC plus or minus 10%. A 15 amp breaker is all that is needed. Connect 230 volt AC line power supply wiring to terminals L1 and L2 and the ground screw as shown. Wiring must be routed through the right side conduit opening with the proper wire, connector, and conduit required. Note that one opening is for high voltage and the other is for low voltage or data wires. After connections are made, reassemble in reverse order. Connect the pump to the pool bonding system using number 8 bare copper wire or number 6 bare copper wire for Canada. A lug for bonding is provided on the outside of the drive enclosure. The TriStar VS SP3200 VSP interface model can be operated standalone through the user interface or by another control system through the use of the controller relays or actuator ports. We recommend that you consult with a Hayward technical manager when connecting via relay or valve actuators for the first time. This is to prevent any damage to the control or pump electronics. Connection is made in the drive wiring compartment, which is accessed the same way as we did for electrical wiring. As always, shut down power to the control and pump before making any wiring connections. All connection wire must be rated for a minimum of 300 volts and may be used up to 500 feet in length. Connecting the TriStar VS SP3200 VSP interface model via relays is shown in this diagram. Voltage is pulled from the RS-485 connector at the 12 volt DC power terminal and run to the line inside of each relay being used. From the load side of each relay, a wire is run to step 1, 2, or 3 depending on the number of relays being used. A connection is made from COM on the RS-485 to COM on the digital input. Dip switches shown must have number 1 and 2 in the on position with 3, 4, and 5 in the off position for proper operation. This chart shows how turning relays on or off affect what VSP speed timer is selected. This chart is also available in the owner's manual. Speed settings are set through the user interface, while time settings are accomplished through the control system. The second way a TriStar VS SP3200 VSP can be connected to a control system is through the use of actuator ports. As shown, the center wire, most often red, of the actuator is capped. One of the two outside wires is run to one of the step connections. The other of the two outside wires is run to the COM on the digital input. If more than one actuator is being used, the COM wires will need to be joined before connecting. Please note that voltage does not need to be supplied as was shown for relay control as the actuators will supply voltage. Dip switches shown must have number 1 and 2 in the on position with 3, 4, and 5 in the off position for proper operation. This chart shows how turning actuators on or off affect what VSP speed timer is selected. This chart is also available in the owner's manual. Speed settings are set through the user interface, while time settings are accomplished through the control system. Repositioning of the TriStar VS SP3200 VSP user interface can be accomplished by removing the two screws securing the user interface. The user interface can be positioned in four different ways on the back of the pump or remotely. This allows the pump operator to view the digital readings easily. Make sure to secure the two screws after moving the user interface. Remote installation will be covered later in this video. To mount the user interface remotely, you will need to purchase a wall mount kit, part number SPX3400DRKIT. You will also need to procure a four-wire connection cable rated for a minimum of 300 volts and may be used up to 500 feet in length. The wall mount kit comes with a blank cover for the back of the pump, a green data plug, two screws, and a wall mounting bracket. You need to remove the user interface and interface mounting plate to access the drive wiring compartment. 
Make sure to remove the red plug from the interface. Next, unplug the RS-485 plug and loosen all four connecting points and remove the four wires. Remove the four wire interface connecting cable. Be sure to keep this cable. You may want to reconnect in the future. You will also need to procure a liquid tight cord grip connector to thread into the port on the left. Thread the four wire connection cable through the connector. Take the four wire connection cable and connect each of the individual wires to the four RS-485 connection points. Reinstall the RS-485 plug. Mount the wall mounting bracket and thread the connection cable through the access point at the bottom of the bracket. As shown on the screen, connect COM to number one, B to number 3, A to number 2, and 12 volt to number 4. It is very important to make these connections correctly and securely. Plug in the green data plug as shown into the interface. Secure the interface to the wall mounting bracket. Now reassemble first the interface mounting bracket, then the blank cover. The TriStar VS SP3200 VSPND model does not have a user interface attached to the back of the motor and must be connected via a two wire data cable to a Hayward Goldline software compatible controller for operation. Make sure to check the owner's manual for software revision compatibility or call your Hayward technician for assistance. Connection wire must be rated for a minimum of 300 volts and may be up to 500 feet in length. First remove the cover from the back of the motor as was done for electrical connections. The two wires are run from the RS-485 A and B connectors on the pump to 2 and 3 respectively on the remote display connection on the Hayward Go Line controller. The dip switch settings as shown in this chart are needed to set the pump address for the controller. If multiple SP3200 VSP and D pumps are being controlled, each pump must have its own address. The pump address chart is also available in the owner's manual. Now reattach the back cover. For more help on energy savings, please visit www.hayward.com and click on Energy Solutions on the left hand side. Next click on Energy Calculator. On this page you can enter how many gallons are in your pool, your zip code and your email address. Click on Show My Energy Solutions. On the next screen you will see many choices of products to determine your energy savings. Now click on See Pump Savings. You will now see your pump savings. There are four pumps shown so make sure the TriStar VS is chosen for this example. You can change four variables at the bottom. Horsepower of your current single speed pump, your current electrical rate, your correct run time per day, and your length of season. There is also a free Hayward Energy Solutions app that can be obtained from the iTunes store. For professional help and service, go to hayward.com and select Dealer Locator, which you will see at the top left of the website navigation bar. Next, provide the postal code of where the system is installed, as well as 1, a search radius, 2, pool type, 3, product repair and service, 4. Pumps Variable Speed. Lastly, select Submit and you will see all local Hayward Authorized Service Centers who can assist with Hayward Variable Speed Pumps installation, operation, and service. Remember to visit Hayward Pool Products at www.hayward.com along with our social media sites for helpful information about your Hayward products.